Hello, today we're going to look at a quick review on sea level. We're looking at a distance from above sea level to a distance below sea level. The distance we're using today is 2,500 square feet above sea level to a distance 150 feet below sea level. And we're going to figure out what the distance between those two points are. So when we start out, we're looking at 2,500 feet above 2,500 feet above sea level. So how far is it from 2,500 feet above sea level just to sea level? So if I'm just going from here to here, what's the distance we're looking at? Well, since it's 2,500 feet above sea level, this distance is going to be 2,500 feet. All right, But we're not going to sea level. We're actually going further than sea level. We're going another 150 feet below sea level. So it would be another 150 feet below sea level. So there's two options at this point to do with these numbers. We can add them or subtract them. So let's try both and see which one makes sense. <clears throat> so 2,500 minus 150. So if we went 2,500 minus 150, 0, 5, 3, and 2. It's 2,350 feet. Well, if I went down from here, 2,300 feet, I'd end up about right here. That would be about 2,350 feet from our starting distance. Well, that doesn't even get to sea level, much less 150 feet below sea level. So let's try to add the two numbers together. 2,500 plus 150, and you get 2,650. All right, so let's look at this. From our original point to sea level is 2,500 feet. And we have to go another 150 feet, which, yes, would give us 2,650 feet. So right here would be the application we need to do with the two numbers. We need to add the two to get from point A to point B. All right. The second problem we want to look at is if we went, if we descended from point, from the 150 feet below sea level, if we descended that means if we went down, let's say another 50 feet, or say 200 feet. If we descended another 200 feet, which would be a negative 200, since we're going down below sea level. Now what would we have to do to find our new distance? Well, again, there's two options to add or subtract. Well, we're starting at 150, so we're already 150 feet below. We're trying to find our final distance. In this case, we would also add the two numbers together. <clears throat> so to find our finishing distance, it would be 150 feet plus 200 feet, and you'd end up with 350 feet. And of course, this is going to be below sea level. So if you were asked that you started at 150 feet below sea level and it descended 200 feet, what's your new location? Your new location would be 350 feet below sea level. Alright, so those are a couple of review problems with sea level. One above and below and then two below. All right. Hopefully this is helpful. Thank you. All right, today we're going to look at some temperature problems. Usually makes it easier if you go ahead and just draw some real basic thermometer or something just to draw some uh, numbers on. And what we're going to look at today is say that the temperature was 35 degrees during the day and it fell
40 degrees overnight. All right? And you want to figure out what is the new temperature. Okay? So 35 degrees, we'll make a little zero here, and we'll go up about 35 degrees, and it says it fell 40. What does fall? It means it goes down. So we're going to go down 40 degrees. So how far is it to zero? Well, if it fell 35 degrees, we'd be at zero. But it fell 40. All right? So we're going to have to go past zero. So what are we going to have to do with those two numbers to get where our exact temperature is, what it fell to? Well, we've got 35 degrees, which is above zero, so that's a positive 35. Fell is down, down is towards the negative end, so that's going to be a negative 40. So now we go back to our integer rules that we've done, where we box these two numbers up, and then we combine them. Are those the same or different? Well, we have a positive and a negative, so they're different, which means we subtract. If they're different, subtract. So we're going to subtract 40 and 35 and get 5. Now to find out if it's a positive or negative 5, you look at which is more, do I have more of? Do I have more positives or negatives? Well, 40 is larger than 35 and it's negative. So my answer is going to be a negative 5. So that's my temperature once it fell 40 degrees. So there's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my new temperature after it fell 40 degrees from earlier in the day would be negative 5. All right? Hopefully this is, you'll find this helpful. Thank you.